Here across northeastern and central Pennsylvania, we're used to several types of winter events. Anything from ice to snow, we're used to it here across the region. We'll first kind of to break it down for you, tell you why we get these certain types of frozen precipitation during the winter time. And we'll start off with rain. So rain essentially is when we have the snowflakes falling from the cloud. This often happens during the summer months as well. But then it reaches a warmer pocket of air during the middle and lower levels of the atmosphere. So those snowflakes eventually melt and they turn into raindrops. So that's what we commonly get as rain. Then we have freezing rain. More common during the winter, obviously, is it's a little bit colder. So those snowflakes eventually fall from the cloud. They're still snowflakes. Then they meet a pocket of warmer air at the middle to lower levels of the atmosphere. So they change back to raindrops. But then right at the surface is where those temperatures are at or below freezing, say along the sidewalk or the pavement. And those temperatures are at the freezing mark. So those raindrops essentially freeze right onto contact. So that gives us black ice. And also freezing rain is one of the most treacherous conditions to drive in during the winter since you don't have much traction. Then we talk about sleet. So sleet eventually is the snowflakes falling from the cloud. They reach a shallow pocket of warmer air that eventually changes those snowflakes back into raindrops. And then that colder air right at the lower levels of the atmosphere in the surface. So essentially those raindrops refreeze and that's where you can often hear kind of pinging off your windshield in your car during the winter months. And then eventually, obviously, we have to talk about snow. So those snowflakes continue to fall from the cloud all the way from the top of the, the cloud right to the bottom. And that's what gives us that snow is those temperatures in the whole entire layer of the atmosphere are at or below freezing. Now, what makes it kind of tricky here across northeastern and central Pennsylvania is elevation. So we have instances sometimes where the valleys are seeing rain and the higher elevations are seeing snow. So that's one of the key factors that we have to look at when it comes to winter forecast. Casting.